Have you ever wondered if it was ever going to be possible for you to whip up your camera, make a video and convert that video to a 3D animation automatically? Or have you ever wondered if it's ever going to be possible for you to use your cameras and generate motion capture files? Because today we have some interesting things that you guys may probably want to stick around for and there's a challenge at the end of the day which might also put some money in your pocket. Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we are looking at something that is very, very revolutionary. It's awesome and I love it. And this is Deep Motion. Now, the folks at Deep Motion have created this amazing tool and what it does is it helps you generate animations just from video. You might be wondering like, how the hell does this work? And yes, it does. So if you would like to try this, link is gonna be in the description where you can get it and you can just apply for a free trial so with that you can go ahead and log in and once you log in what you're going to be faced with is with a window that asks you what you would like to do so the 3d service is not the only thing that they have as they offer a couple other things there so just in case you want to deal with things that has to do with motion brain or maybe you want to do some real-time body tracking or you're looking for vr tracking you can actually do those but today we are looking at how you can convert your videos into animations so for that you need to click on Animate 3D. Now with Animate 3D open, you would need to select the character type if you would like to use custom characters that will be provided or if you would like to use the characters that are provided. Now one thing to keep in mind once you're doing this is the file format that you need is MP4, MOV and also AVI. And you also need to make sure that the file clip or the clip which you're going to be loading is not more than 50 megabytes there are a couple of rules that you need to take into account for best practices and also for best results and these things include the positioning of the camera the placement of the model from the camera the lighting conditions the size and at the same time you need to make sure that things are not interfering with the subject and finally you need to make sure that you're not putting on loose clothes so the service doesn't interpret it as something that is not now you can go ahead get the file that you have load that file directly in and you can start playing with a couple of things for the video output we don't want to export this video out so we're just going to leave it the way it is as well and for the 3d model if there are 3d models that you have you would see the 3d model thumbnail but right now the thumbnail seems to be coming soon as the 2.0 alpha version was just released so with all of this there we can now click on create animation now we create animation clicked what is going to happen is very interesting because this will upload your data first of all and then analyze that data and once it's done it's going to generate a 3d animation and you can use this as both motion capture you can use this to drive your characters and you can literally use this for a whole lot of things that you've always wanted and once this is done the next thing which you can do with this is you can test out with several character types that they have and you can see this is so cool i mean look at the video that we have and then look at what we have right here this is this is just mind-blowing it's extremely clean and it's extremely extremely good and you can see that every single motion that our main subject has we also have our animated object having that and this is just with what a camera and then you have yourself a motion capture and of course there's a challenge about this so just in case you want to join that challenge just simply stick around as we're going to talk about that at the end of the video so once this is done you can now preview this with different sets of characters you can look at it however you want you can play with it and if you've done a couple more this automatically saves it into a library now you can go to that library and select from a truckload of things that you've made and you can preview these things if you like you can choose to download them and downloading this is as simple as selecting the file hitting the download button selecting what avatar that you want to download this with and then you can download this and this would download either as fbx or as bvh and for those who like playing with fbx of course you can have that and if you like playing with the biovision file which is a bvh file you may also want to download that as well so for this case we're just going to go ahead and download the fbx file and this is going to come in as a zip now this zip file comes with two files which you can get and one of them is going to be a t pose and the other one is going to be just the default object the t pose is mostly for those who like to do some retargeting of course we're going to do that retargeting and for those who wouldn't like doing retargeting you just want to attach this to a model and you want this to just drive a character like that you can also go ahead and play with this so with the file downloaded what we're going to do is simply extract this so i'm just going to click 
drag drop and that is how easy it is to extract next thing you might probably want to do is to preview the animation first of all see if it works and then you will probably want to retarget this as these fbx files that you download they only come as fbx files and they don't come with the meshes so for that you need to actually do some retargeting and for the targeting we're going to take a look at motion builder as it's one of the best tools out there that handles motion retargeting so pop up motion builder as always and then go ahead open up the file or you can simply load that in by yourself but for this case since motion builder supports drag and drop that is definitely what we're going to do we're going to simply drag this and drop it right here go over to fbx open select the pixel video since that's the format or you know that's the video which we have click on ok and that is how you have it next thing look around make sure that you have all of your joints properly positioned press the playback button and that is how easy it is you now have your motion capture data right here very very simple i've actually never thought about this being something that is going to be possible anytime soon and with the whole fact that they've cleaned up the way that the feet stays as it reduces a lot of feet sliding this is just you know it's just incredible so how do you attach this to a character for that we're going to get a brand new one and it's very interesting to see that once you download this that it comes with two different motion files so the first one is the fbx that contains the typos while the next one is just the default fbx motion all right so we can click drag drop make sure that we have this loaded as well and then you notice we have that t pose and it has a very quick transition from this to that all right next thing you would like to do is make sure you select the bvh and then you move it over to this part now if you're very conversant with retargeting in other apps you can simply do that but in motion builder we've already covered how you can do retargeting so that's very very easy scroll all the way down to where you have tutorials and let's test this out with arago click drag drop merge and merge without animation so we now have arago there and then we can do a simple characterization so we have to characterize the first one characterize the second one and then link them up and characterization is extremely extremely simple how do you do that go over to templates click on character and then select the character object click drag and drop if you have any missing sect or maybe any missing node how you can do this is as easy as selecting the character as character going over to your definition section double click and make sure you have these things proper so let's do that one two and this and it's just very beautiful that motion builder is smart enough to know what joint you have and it simply does that symmetrically so you don't have to do one part and go and do the other part it just knows and you know this is this is just it's clean it's gold actually all right so with this there next thing you might want to do is to lock this and that way you've created a character definition and you may want to control your next object with what we have so for that we already have Arago as something that is characterized. If you're coming in with any other 3D model which has joint and you want to characterize that, the same way we characterize this particular one is also how you can characterize that one. So next thing you might want to do is click down here within your character, select Arago, click down here as the source because we want this to drive Arago, all right? So we're going to click down here and select the character. And that way, once you press the playback button, you can see we have this in motion and that is how easy it is for you to use your smartphone use any device at all that has a camera and record any motion and convert this to a 3d animation it's just incredible it's very very painless it's easy it's fast and for the most part you don't even need to own a motion capture suit you don't even need to download an app this happens on the web pretty easy now if you're done with this you want to do some tweaking you can go ahead and do those tweaks but for the most part this is just very very nice you can also make sure that you don't want to see maybe the joints and you can also turn off that skeleton so you can see just the model and all we had to do was feed a video and from that video we have this amazing stuff and once you're done and you want to export this out to another app and work with it all you need to do is click on this button bake and bake to the skeleton now our argo character now has that fbx file and it's you know it's that easy so if blender is something you would like to use to do your retargeting of course you can go ahead and do that if maya is the tool for you that you would like to use and do your retargeting 
yes you can also go ahead and do that and for those who will be asking so once you're done with motion builder how do you get this out how you can get this out is as simple as making sure that you have all of this selected so i'm just going to go over to the scene section select the bvh reference which is reference of the previous character that we used to do the whole retargeting and i'm going to click on select branches and once that is done click right click delete confirm and yes to everything okay okay delete that and yes to all so it just simply deletes all of this at this point if you click on file and click as save as you'll be able to save this as an fbx so for that one we're just going to call this arago so let's just call that arago and once we're done with that click on save and that way you have this file and you can now load this file into any 3d app of choice so what do we do next what we can do is right now if you take a look at this you notice we have arago here so with that done we're going to simply pop up maya and right here in maya we can also do a simple drag and drop to import this so let's go get that file click right here click drag and drop this right in here and we can import this and start working with it so zooming all the way back you can now see that we have the arago character and for some reason in motion builder you don't get to see this particular character with the extra weapon but right here in maya you can see that character i mean you can see the character and you can see all of that you know extra weapon and stuff so real quick let's add a simple plane because we like them planes add the plane real quick go over to where we have the rendering throw in an ambient throw in a directional light scale that directional light raise it a little bit upwards rotate that tiny bit like so and that is you know that is pretty cool so with this let's press the playback button and see what we get all right press the playback button and let's see what we have and this is this is cool i mean this is exactly how you would want to work no motion suit required no software installation required nothing of that nature just simply use your camera phone take a picture upload that picture get a motion capture file and that is how easy it is for you to now animate things right here now a lot of you guys might be asking what about working with blender right now blender doesn't seem to be the best tool to actually work with this as for most cases once you go ahead and import this it actually comes in very distorted or it comes in as a broken file you can also go ahead and try this with some other apps like the Mamoset Toolbag. And this is very interesting because right there in Mamoset, you can actually use this and do some very cool stuff. And hopefully there's going to be an update to this. And yes, for those who would like to try this, there's going to be a link in the description where you can go ahead and check it out. And also they are having the animate yourself contest. Now this contest comes with a cash prize. And for those who would like to enroll into this, there are certain things that you need to do. First off, you need to just simply make a video, upload it and convert that to an animation. And what you need to submit for this competition includes you posing or either making a video of you being a superhero or being a pop star, like maybe making a dance video. And also you can make a video of your best KO. And that is for the video game section. So you can either animate yourself as either a superhero, pop star, or as a video game character. This contest has actually begun as it started on the 24th of november and is going to run through till the 7th of december 2020 and of course there are a couple of prizes to be won so just in case you would like to join this i'm going to put a link in the description so you can go ahead and check these things out for yourself and a huge shout out to the folks at deep motion for creating this wonderful tool and for those who would like to try this right now this tool is for free and you can go ahead and use it so if you like to use this service now that it's for free and want to still be able to use it for a couple of months when it becomes paid also for free you can simply use the coupon code askNK during your registration to get a couple of months free when this becomes a paid service so tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section it's here the future is here as well and you can now see how easy it is for you to just simply make a video and convert that into an animation tell me what your thoughts are in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this. Peace.